Instagram. Y'all follow me and hit me up, Mama Yoga Wellness. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a body of work that is all about healing, finding mind, body, energy, balance, working with divine spirit to balance out your life and to live from an intuitive spiritual perspective and that's the brand of mama yoga's wellness i love you already <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes you just want to gravitate yeah, towards right. it right yeah 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 but you know we all have these healing qualities within us we just necessarily aren't awoken awake awoken right to it what would what word would I use there? And any you're not a, you're not awake. Wake up. In tune. Yeah, oh, you're not in tune with in yourself. Tune is a good word. In you're tune. not in tune okay. with yourself in the universe. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, what is it that? I mean, you just describe what you provide, mm -hmm. what services you provide. What um, what made you? You know, how long have you been doing this? Oh, well, as a lifestyle for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't, um, I'm not from the school where you pick up a book and you read it and then, you know, you have the, just the intellectual understanding of these phenomenon and mm -hmm. these manifestations. You have to be living them in your life. And so in the early 80s, mm -hmm. that's longer than 30, years, I think. <laughs> 40, sis, 40. That's all right. <laughs> but you know, old. I I'm made a life count. change from being a professional. Mama look good. <laughs> <laughs> professional <laughs> model in New York, you know. Mm -hmm. That's them greens and that dead breathing, honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, mama, mama has lived. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Mama has so, lived. Um, so to your, to your question, you know, it really is about... Um, uh, having a lifestyle and sharing that lifestyle in earnest mm. with the people that God sends to you to mm -hmm. share it with. Uh, Mama Yoga Wellness is it's not transactional. It's not about the services. Mm -hmm. It's about can I be an example to you as best as I can. There's no perfection there. Right. But, mm -hmm. you know, I feel I'm called to share a certain uh, way in which to live one's life. And that's with spirit. I just yeah. uh, I just posted something earlier about being a healer. You know, right. doesn't mean if you go to a healer, it doesn't mean they heal you. They give right. you the right. tools they for right. you they to do yeah. that yeah. because it's a self journey. Yeah. Right. So have you always uh, been in tune, or was there a moment that you know brought you closer? I don't think I was in tune yesterday, but I think I'm in tune today. <laughs> All right. And that's yeah. the reality of that. I love Are you with me? I mean, yeah. we got yes, there's right. some, there's yeah. some, yeah. There's yeah. some yeah. urban yoga stuff here. Yeah. I mean, really, you yeah. know, we just got to keep, I, I, when I teach my class, I call it reality yoga. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. because we keeping it real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I came from a lifestyle, a background of being a professional model in New York, drinking, using drugs, getting high, you know, having, you know, all these very fabulous and wonderful salacious relationships. <laughs> right. Let me just put that out there like that. They all serve their purpose. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Mama Hello. grew up in the projects of Trenton, New Jersey. Shout out Trenton, New Jersey, 08618. Oh, my. <laughs> but there was an evolution that took place. Uh, of course. Yeah. You know, and so uh, I, you know, I deal with, you know, that energy every single day. Mm -hmm. I don't care how so-called elevated or prophetic a person uh, may uh, profess to be. Yeah. Every day is, an, is a stride towards being aligned and in tune. But yeah. since that's duality. Yeah. yeah that's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Duality, because we need to live in this world, even though we're spiritual beings. That's yeah. right. We need to be able to function and, and and cooperate with others out here that you know vibe lower than we do. That's right. Yeah. That's yes. all it is. Find your balance and coexist. For sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Zola, would you introduce yourself there? <laughs> yes, queen. Okay. <laughs> Just go ahead and bring the mic down a little yeah, bit so you can you speak go. into the mic. Right, right here? That's yes, good? That is that's good. good. All right. So I am, um, I'm Zola. I'm known as Crystal John. Mm -hmm. I'm everywhere, all over the gram, and just everybody in person, Crystal, Crystal. Right. So <laughs> Right. That's what I, you know, because yeah. it is your, you know, yeah. Instagram, so that's yeah, exactly that's what Instagram. I want to call you, Crystal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what I do is I want to say that first I'm an energy influencer. Okay. So um, just how you have like, um, you know, 
uh, social media influencers, things like that. I feel like I am here to influence the energy. Right. Mm -hmm. um, also, I work with crystals. That's my main thing. So I'm um, using different crystals to um, help to unblock your chakras, to mm -hmm. help, you know, you manifest, create, and, um, you know, enhance your intuition, all those things. Mm -hmm. So I work right. with the crystals, which is, um, you know, it's something that I didn't grow up seeing. Yeah. Right. I didn't grow up right. seeing, but... Uh, crystals were always around, yeah, but I right. wasn't introduced to them until, you know, in my adult, my adult life. And then as a teacher, I was like, I want to teach other people about this. I want the children to know about this yeah. because, yeah. um, you know, that's the thing. A lot of times we go all around and, um, you know, things are right there, but we're not aware how you were saying earlier. Sure. Right. So once I became aware and seeing how powerful the crystals and the energy was, I was like, okay. This, this is this is serious so I have to go back and show show other people yeah so a lot of people you know oh those are pretty rocks yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, how do you feel about that um they are pretty rocks <laughs> they definitely are. <laughs> but what I have to say is that the creator didn't put anything here for play mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. how the stars serve a purpose the Sun serve a purpose I can have my doubt in something if the creator didn't put it here mm -hmm. so when you go and you dig and you find these crystals mm -hmm. you know you have to think well why are they here are they here just to look nice mm -hmm. you know a tree is not here just to look nice it serves a purpose mm -hmm. so everything the creator put here for us to use these tools for healing mm -hmm. you know especially with the belief that you know there's a cure for everything ex right. except for death you know we have to mm -hmm. tap into you know the different things that were put here for us to, to for us to utilize yeah. and all mm -hmm. these crystals and, and gems mm -hmm. and stones and things of that nature um, they all have metaphysical properties mm -hmm. could you explain a little bit about that yes so um, just dealing with the crystals on a very easy way to explain it I want to say that you have um, seven different chakras yeah. And um, different crystals help to um, uh, build that chakra muscle. Mm -hmm. I want to say That's so. A good you way of so, yeah, it. so you have like different crystals it's and like um, the core within the core muscles. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's the thing about crystals: that spirit work. Mm -hmm. There's always the physical work, yeah. you know, but that spirit work. So even you know tapping into that because we could all be looking wonderful physically, yep. but spiritually, if we're not you we know feeling well and looking yeah, well and, and taking yeah. care of that spirit. So the crystals have definitely um, you know helped me with those sort of things. You know, so just starting with the root chakra. Um, wanting to feel grounded, you know, wanting to feel security, you know, um, safe, those sorts of things. Yeah. That's root chakra crystals. That's root chakra work. Yeah. You know, if I'm waking up, if I'm the, um, I want to say the guiding you knows everything, mm -hmm. okay. but you get tested with trusting your intuition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, say yeah, yeah. real quick, like yeah. for me, and, and I tell everybody this, like, it's like, you know, if you look back on your own personal history and what you've gone through and things right. of, uh, and everything, Hello. come, come, grab a mic um, from two yeah, okay. and mic. please come in. Right. Star just arrived. Hi, Star. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you look back and you see where you started to have that woke moment, right? right? Because I know that there's times where I can look back and say, I knew it. I knew it. I right. knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. Mm -hmm but you didn't trust yourself because there was no physical evidence, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know, because here in the 3D plane, we we look towards physical things for either uh, verification, gratification, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it's like that intuition, we Absolutely. have to trust self, and I've had some funny boy, funny <laughs> stories about intuition, uh, yeah. but oh, it's just like, all. what would you say is something that, that you would suggest to strengthen that intuition. Mm. Um, so as far as strengthening your intuition, like is the crystals that you could work with mm -hmm. or a, a certain exercises, activities that you can do. I'm sorry. So I think <coughs> with the intuition, mm -hmm. it's always like a I told you type of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So what I learned to do was I know if I go to the doctor's, and um, if I go to the dentist, I already know what's wrong with me. I'm just waiting for him to tell me. Confirm. I, I already know what, what's going on with me, yeah. you know. Yeah. Or, um, you know, just like your body, if you're feeling a little bit sick and you're feeling, you know, maybe you have a fever and you're craving citrus, you're craving oranges, your body is telling you vitamin C. You need right. vitamin C. Right. So the only way to really build the muscle 
of your intuition is by following your intuition that's right. and having that trust. That's the only way. That's right. And and you already know, like you could say, you know what, I have a bad feeling about this and not come. And then you go home and you hear, oh, you know, something maybe crazy went down. But you trusted that your intuition, your intuition didn't have to show you, yeah. see, I see I was telling you to stay home or, yeah. you know, I was telling you not. Because everybody always says that, you know what, and I, I shouldn't have got on 95. I knew it was going to be traffic. I did it anyway. So the only way to build that muscle is to really trust and follow your intuition and see and see how far that that gets you versus you not following and trusting your intuition. Now you That's mentioned right. exercises. That's right. Yeah. Like what? Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is um, just as far as with the crystal work, I might take a piece of amethyst or a piece of fluorite, and I might, um, you know, actually sit it right here on my third eye. Mm -hmm. You know, and you could actually put that crystal there. You know, and you could rub it. You know, rub it um, clockwise mm -hmm. to activate activate What's your third What's the difference eye. between clockwise and counterclockwise? Just out of curiosity. Um, so clockwise is just exactly like the direction. No, I mean, what oh, if you oh. were to rub it the opposite Look, way? Look, you know, I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm like, I could tell you <laughs> clockwise, baby. Because you know, when that, I, tell her, I said yeah. when that big hand on the 10 and the little hand, I was about to tell her that whole direction. I was like, I'm not here to judge. I can <laughs> tell you the difference. <laughs> I was like, okay, from the sand castle, let's build it up. It's okay. <laughs> no, no. So, um, clockwise is to activate, and mm. counterclockwise is the clear. Yep. Okay. So okay. you want to clear it. Gotcha. So you know, you might need to clear it. Maybe all all week long you wasn't following your intuition. Mm. You know, now you need to clear it. So you might need to clear it first, and yeah. then you need to activate it. Okay. okay. You know, and you could definitely. Um, sometimes I've set at night, and you know how you tie your scarf on your hair. I'll tie you just that. Tie it right I tie that your amethyst nose. right there, and there I, you go. know, and I'm be like. Look, you know what I'm doing? My affirmations, yeah. you know, you're yeah. doing your affirmations, you know, I trust myself, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I am of those who know, you know, yeah. things like that. So affirming it, because affirmations are very powerful. Yeah. Well, yeah, the are. words, that's, the, people don't realize the words we speak are so important, especially self-talk. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times yeah. we do negative self-talk and that really screws us up because mm -hmm. we're putting that guilt, that the doubt, I mean, that doubt in all those what ifs in our body in our brain right. mm -hmm. and and that's what we're mm -hmm. going to to feed off of yep. but no everything right. you think has to be positive manifestation mindfulness yeah. we're yep. talking about that next week so tune in yeah. <laughs> absolutely yeah. Yeah. the words that if i if i may mm -hmm. the the words that you speak are the same as a mantra mm -hmm. they are yeah. your mantra okay. so if you are saying i don't have any money or i'm i don't i can't afford that or now I you don't can't know, afford that's, it. That's <laughs> your mantra. Yes. But if you are saying abundance flows to me an infinite source, that's your mantra. And that's Bring what it, baby. you get. That's mm -hmm. what you get. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that gave me some vibrations. Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, I just want to say I want to yeah. thank you, all you ladies, for coming in here. Hey, Polly, Star, <laughs> Zola. Oh, my God, it's Mama. <laughs> it's awesome to have this estrogen because it's yeah, always it. full I, of I testosterone in this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we gotta let this energy flow a little bit <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. get this. We have to, yeah. we have to soak right. all of this in. You see, I'm That's pretty right. quiet today because I'm. She said, "I'm gonna yeah, take. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the. Yeah, 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 I'm the student today. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a student. I'm not kindergarten, but I'm okay. Yeah, but I'm like I'm we ready. Got all clockwise. levels. We got all levels. We, yeah, we got <laughs> clockwise and <laughs> counterclockwise. Damn, we got yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> um. I'm actually going to take a break and play a song of okay. stars, if you could, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it on? Nope, you're nope. not on. Here, here you go. Thank you. Yeah, Chuji in the building. You know, I had to come, I had to come through here, hey. the yeah. real one. Well, this is actually what you wanted to talk about. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, I mean, made it happen, girl. Oh, man. You, I you said, are we got, the bomb. We got com. energy healers. We got yes. chakra this workers and <laughs> stones coming through. This is the, this is the, this is my type of party right here. I'm yeah. telling you, this is my type of party for sure. Well, so we made it happen for you, girl. Yeah, I mean, only you, only you put this together. Yeah, no one else in here could do this one. No, not this one right here. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> Y'all get your own own waves. Yeah. This is me. 
<laughs> but I want to thank you for coming through. Uh, we're actually going to play a track. I don't know which one, but if you want to go ahead. They all good. Tell, tell them. Listen. Uh, where to find you and all that good stuff. So. Sure, y'all can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Spotify. You can find me on anything that has music. I'm literally on every platform. You know, you can find me on IG, IG at Star of All Trades, S T A R R of All Trades. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, Facebook, Star Newton. I don't have, like, I don't have Twitter and all that. And you got this, this project out called? It's called. Um, evolution of star chuji mm -hmm. and i had i mean it's, it really is what it say so all my new music is conscious for the most part um and no more downplaying these uh kings it's time to lift them up and give them that's what they right. give them right. what they need that's right you yeah that so you know yeah right. it's time it's time to heal the world we did enough damage with the world through uh through music through uh hip-hop that's really not ours but they claim it to be ours you know mm -hmm. and we did enough damage with that so it's time to it's time to pick up the pieces. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Go ahead and spin a track, too, and we'll be right back on the X-Radio here on Glock Aware. Oh. Children. Radio yeah, here yeah, on yeah. Block Aware, where we ch 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 chill. <laughs> I like y'all type ch of chill. Ch ch chill. <laughs> I'm coming here. I come here anytime. Yeah, I like yeah, it here. Yeah, Listen, yeah, come next come week back. we're talking mindful manifestation. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, With a mindset motivational coach. Yeah. Yeah. All right now. I'm Tune in. in. Yes. What? Tune yeah. in. And we're doing it. I'm doing it. Listen, that I want to get all y'all on track for 21. You yes. 20, yes. 20 hit y'all crazy. I was. Yo, I swear, this is how I knew 5D. I was t t touching it. Because, listen, I'll tell you, I came in 20. Everyone's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I was like, by the time March hit, I was like, yo, I am happy as shit. Me too. Right. Yeah, I me am too. happy. I'm diddy bobbing. People like, 
Yeah, I've been wrong with you? Always. What's wrong <laughs> with you? And I was happy. It's a whole I've been blessed. Summer. I've been yeah. happy. I've been taken care of in abundance. Yeah. Like, mm. but without thinking about it. Right? Yes, without. Yeah. But listen, I was saying earlier, right before you walked in, I said, you know what? You can tell if you look back in your own personal history where the yep. journey started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and and it started for me years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like that past year, really was like that was my personal ninth year. Mm-hmm. If y'all know about that. Yeah. So yeah. that for me was, that was the ending of a whole cycle. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. For me this too. was year right. one. So everything's been wonderful. Everything's been yes. awesome and wonderful. And it's only going to get better because now I have the tools right. yes. to be able to be successful going yes. forward. Yes. You know, before mm-hmm. I was just dabbling and playing and I didn't necessarily understand the path, but now I have the people, the tools, the mm-hmm. knowledge, you know, and it's never ending. So don't no. get fooled. It's never ending. No. Oh, man. It's, it's up what? from here. We it's a journey. Yeah. The minute I think that I've, I've found out too much or I know it all, <laughs> yeah. I think it with like <laughs> a whole You're like, nothing. wait, what? Psh, yeah. The emoji. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, right? You go in for some more. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. like round two. Okay, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we're laced. I like this one. Oh. Do you have Do you have any favorites, ladies? Well, for me, in terms of the crystals, yeah. it's a it's a vibrational thing. Yeah, you know? I pick them out. I look at them and yeah. say, "All right, what's, and, what's calling and they to call me?" Yeah. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> Mama. There you go. Or they if call you know you, you need, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's or you why, know like a lot of times, I certain, know mm-hmm. I would do certain ones. Yeah, like, you know. Absolutely. But a lot of times, like you said, I have a couple like my extras. I like to just, those are the ones that call to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or they might be a little, you know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. So go ahead. So, yeah, yeah no, you, you hit it right on the head. And everybody here, we had, you know, to take from a from an old time saying we had the Amen Choir in here. Everybody yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah. all that. I ain't said nothing wrong yeah. with We went to but church with that one. It's something, it's something about, you know, the vibration. And Zola hit on it a few minutes ago about trusting your intuition Mm -hmm. and the the um the travesty of the type of society that we live in the Mm -hmm. microwave society is that we are not taught how to just be still Mm -hmm. and it's ramped up to a you know a such a a Porsche Mm -hmm. pace you yes. know where with with the invent of the screens and mm-hmm. the you know the we airwaves have and something in you know front of something us. is yeah. always pulling your energy right, right. and yeah. so you might feel drained at the end of the day but all you did was be on your screen all day right. it mm-hmm. was an energy exchange right exactly. yes. it is the the screens the are the new uh-huh. vampire uh-huh. are y'all yeah. with me yeah, yeah. yeah. so it. when you yeah. choose your crystals it's about tuning in, having a quiet time, and just listening. It's not anything you have to sit and be like, oh, what crystal am I going to use today? <laughs> no, it'll speak right. to you, just as Zola said. It'll call Some, to you. Something, and, it, and it's something that's as simple right. as, oh, I like the color of this That's word. right. You Absolutely. think that's what you're picking it for, yeah, but okay. spirit is like, you need that level of armor. Yes. You yeah. don't know what's coming around the corner. Right. Pick up that yeah. hematite along with that shungite. Yeah. Right. Mm. yeah. I, um, and okay. I had one time that's I was my favorite actually, shungite. Um, yeah. shungite, that's my, my yeah, that's is like that a sh- gem. That's, yeah. that's like one of my top five. <laughs> but even one time I had a, um, a lady who I had done a, um, a crystal reading with, mm-hmm. and yeah. she had these three cards in her hand already, but someone else was picking out crystals. And she just came over like, oh, what's this, what's this, and picking them up. And then when she put the cards down, she had the three crystals that she, you know, that she had uh, just picked out. Okay. So I was like, so, like, I just feel like the crystals are definitely telling you take me i need you like a lot of times i was picking amethyst all kinds of amethyst mm-hmm. and, and that was before i knew what amethyst was i didn't even know i always did it because it was my birthstone yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> so i didn't even yeah. know that it was like good for um yeah. stress and anxiety <laughs> and, and you know and intuition i didn't know those things and those were things that i had going on yeah so even right. i picked this i bought this piece this big huge Raw. piece of amethyst and i set it in my living room and everybody would come over like the energy is different in here. Right. The energy, and I was like, it's the oh, that's the only thing new? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. And that's how right. I first started to yeah. get into crystals. Nice. Okay. You know, just feeling that, like, I always wanted to sit near that crystal. 
And then finding out what that crystal was for, I'm like, that's why I needed that. Yeah. You know, yeah. before I've you gone know. to um to places, you know, where they have the crystals and I just look around and I pick them up, look at them and so on and so forth and I won't even know what they do. Right. Mm-hmm. Never seen them in my life. I'll pick them up. And then I'll Google it and I'll say, oh, that makes sense. I'm taking this one. Right. <laughs> right. right. I, I, that makes sense. I'm taking this one. It's mine. Recently, but, I guess the, uh, the Shanghai has been my favorite right now because um, of the radiation mm-hmm. that we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, when, when I came to Philadelphia, one of the main things uh, for, was for me and my boys' protection. Sorry, I'm, I'm Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it just popped off. Matter of oh, fact, all, okay. Okay. You figuring out? <laughs> you, you you technical? Oh, it's just the button. That's okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So that was the main thing. It was like, um, what what do we do about this? You know, we, like when you said we're in a microwave society, it's on a we whole. We literally are. We literally Double are. Yeah, That's you know right, what I'm saying. Sure. So that was that was deep. But, um, yeah, so basically with us being in a microwave, we need something to um, can do it that, for, yeah. for, for, for what a, to offset it, rather, the, the mm. uh, radiation. Right. And mm. I found out CMOS uh, that has um, iodine and the iodate is really good sure. when it comes to radiation mm. and um, the shungite. So yeah. I was like, mm. that's it. Mm. Um, this, you know she what? said, there's the answer. So this one is actually, I forgot the name of this one. Um, you know the name of everything. I well, you. Know. How about you? Yeah, I was going to say, ask her. She really knows. <laughs> she really knows. I know what I got. This this one right here. She well, knows it all. Yeah. So, um, this is actually a little bit um, hard to tell with the black crystal. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I really can't tell. It looks like a green is. from oh over God, here, but is it because you're yeah. wearing green? Uh, yeah, Maybe. I can't, yeah. Um, I think that's might be so it what looks they like said. A black yeah. yeah, yeah, I think because when it's tumble, it, lo- it looks that way. So sometimes with the crystals, is you gotta feel them yeah. and like you know and see the the weight of them. But if I'm was to guess, that looks like black tourmaline. tourmaline. I think that's what they said. Yeah. When I when I first um put the bracelet on, I felt like a lot of energy, mm-hmm. like almost jittery, mm-hmm. yes. and I felt a lot in here. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. this is the first time I'm actually getting a connection with like feeling something, yes. right. mm-hmm. or yes. or noticing that I felt something from it. Mm-hmm. And um, right. so yeah, but this has been really good with my mood. Oh, yeah. it's, this has I been know, this has it? been extremely good with my mood. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, yo, it really makes a difference. Um, sometimes <laughs> I'll be in the house, and once I'm in the house and I get undressed for the night, I usually take everything off, right? Mm-hmm. Take all my jewels, all my bracelets, everything off. One day I was just like, man, I'm cranky as shit. <laughs> I went and grabbed my hematite uh-huh. and I put it on, walked around, slept in it, everything. I woke up happy. Right. I was like, you know, and, and of course, sometimes we need that nap, too. We run ourselves so ragged, oh, yes. yeah. you important. know, so it's oh, important yes. to get the, the oh, yes. restore your physical energy as well as oh, your yes. spiritual energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. You only oh, yes. you only uh, your body only heals itself, which is, which is a great thing. Our body heals our so, if you but allow it, only, it. That is, that's that in our sleep. <laughs> it does it in the sleep. Yeah, yeah. We can't be, when we're woken, moving around, and having all these thoughts, it can't, it yeah. can't mm-hmm. operate in healing. Absolutely. And, and a lot of the times we're over processing too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like you well, mentioned. I mean, the society we live in is such a demand on our energy. You oh, know, yeah. our mind, body, energy, everything. Every waking moment has to be occupied with something, and that really is a trick towards division, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Before we go a little further, I want to give a shout-out and honor and praise to Dr. Sabi and his great Dr. work Sabi. for, ev- for mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> bestowing upon us the, the virtues of uh, CMOS. I've been taking CMOS yes. now. CMOS. I, I think maybe 30, 32 years I've been wow. eating yeah. CMOS, yeah. you know. Uh, but I just want didn't want that to go past without yeah. Uh, yeah. honoring oh, yeah. our Absolutely. ancestor. Yeah. In regards to that. But it's about self care. Mm-hmm. It's about self care. You know, you have to, all these crystals, any of these external or extra, uh, extemporaneous tools that we use should all go towards our own Mm self-care and our own self-love so that we can come to whatever situation and dynamic 
empowered right. as right. opposed to in debt mm -hmm. you know in yeah. debt in our spirit in debt in our offering in debt in our exchange to somebody else I mean, we right. want to yeah. come to the table in a position of power yeah. and that first starts with self-care and self-love yeah. and these crystals that we choose these words of power mantras affirmations the way that we eat and nourish our body right. what we even consume on an entertainment level yeah. Yeah. absolutely goes a long yeah. way to increasing and strengthening our self-care yeah right. uh, absolutely who just uh, two thoughts popped in my head and then the other one canceled the other one out it was crazy right but um as far as you know yeah eating is very important we did a show with a bunch of vegans they yeah. came in plant-based people and, and yeah. shared their experiences and um you know milk and, and dairy is oh. uh, ha is addictive and that's yeah. what a lot of you know sure that's kind of like the you throw it on to make it good yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. like everyone's like oh you got cheese right. i want extra cheese right and it's because it's addictive right and and you start clearing your uh your body of those toxins and you start looking at them as toxins after right. you understand after a while you know the clear them of the toxins clear uh, i was having a conversation with a vegan about meat eaters and, mm -hmm. and i said i really don't eat that much meat you know it's not it's, i was a vegetarian for 13 years at one point and i prefer vegetables anyway i'm not a big meat person but you know they're like i can tell because your mood is is pretty stable right, right. you right. know like people that eat beef they're beef angry and every, yes yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's a, is a savage energy yeah, yeah to, exactly you know but the reality of it is is that you know ain't nobody going out here hunting no elk or no right. cows and shooting right. them and killing them people going up to the fine fair or the supermarket the shopping bag mm -hmm. or wherever uh and buying their you know far, uh, far, um, factory farmed you know meat off the shelf and right. that meat is so Process. full of hormones you know death and and, death. and drugs and hormones yeah. that yeah. it's just bad a lot of people who would do the daniel diet which is a biblical verse in uh the the bible that says that you should not you know you should only eat of the land the grasses the right. seeds and the fruits and the vegetables and the fruits from the trees because at the time the leadership the presidency was poisoning the meat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right and so it's the same thing that's happening with us right, right. you know our meat is not sustainable for human consumption you know it is really um mass not, produced for not, money not purposes. healthy at right. all yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah it was funny that you brought up dr say because i'm actually in the process of opening a healing center oh wow yeah he that's was sweet. definitely he was that's definitely sweet. yeah he definitely was my motivation behind that yeah um but yeah we'll be delivering babies and everything right Right, oh, here that's in, peace. right here in West Oak Lane, yeah. you know, off I of Broad and Nidra. That was part of my dream as well, but I wanted to do music therapy mm. and uh, music therapy and holistic healing. So you're right. going to do that, right? Yeah. yeah. You're going to do music therapy. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, it's not necessarily my dream anymore. It was. I wanted a center just like okay. stars. Yeah. Yeah. But that's I think that's manifested into perhaps right. something a little different hey. yeah okay. yeah we'll, we'll yeah. stay tuned yes yeah, stay, <laughs> <tuned. laughs> stay tuned this is a manifesting space right here that's what we're yeah. doing right here we manifest yeah so manifestation yeah. malachite mm. what else we got um you got uh citrine you yep. have um i keep both on that you no know, mm -hmm. yes yeah, especially <laughs> a lot of the um just solar plexus stones so you mm -hmm. got um you got citrine you got orange yeah. calcite go ahead i was gonna I, Go Labyrinth. ahead, finish that first, and I got you. Go ahead. No, the citrine, the orange mm -hmm. calcite. You got the tiger's eye. You have amber. Amber is a really good one. Uh, petrified wood. I put a I put an orange calcite in in this Yellow in calcite. this studio. Mm. Good. And ah! Tuke has been going crazy with orders ever since. Wow. Yes. I That's swear to you. So. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. What I was gonna say is, can you explain what each chakra is? There's the I can, I do, I feel. Can you explain that? So I'm actually going to let uh, Mama Yoga Wellness, we could kind of piggyback with that. Go ahead, go because ahead. Um, we actually do a chakra uh, workshop, and it's been, it's been um, 
really really great when mm-hmm. we um when we've done that so mm-hmm. i'm kind of going to let you could go for each one and i could kind of just piggyback in with the crystals and things sure, like that sure. okay so so um the way i share the understanding of the chakra is from the vibrational perspective mm-hmm. uh the um the i do i feel is more uh zola's okay. uh, wheelhouse mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so with each chakra there is a tonal vibration Right with um. each chakra, right? Mm-hmm. Ong. Mm-hmm. So let's let's have a little bit of uh, the time that we live in now. The spiritual keys can't be hidden. Mm-hmm. Everything has to be on the table because mm-hmm. the last frontier is your spirit. Right. The last frontier is not whatever Star Trek says it is. Right. The last <laughs> frontier is learning how to connect and use your spirit to manipulate your world. Right. Are you with me? I you call that it. magic, Absolutely. right? So all the tools have to be put on the table. So when we use the mantras, the ancients saw this great plague coming down from out of the Caucasus Mountains and hid the teachings, mm-hmm. right? So instead of using the, uh, the NG at the last end of the mantra, they put an M. Okay. So people say om, but to open that vibration, you should you say ong, um, a u n g, ong. So om is good. You could eat a banana with the peel on it. <laughs> right. It's okay. If that was a good enough. But when you peel that bad boy, <laughs> it's much better. You get all the fruit and the goodness and the what you supposed to get out of that. Yeah. You with me? Yeah, I got you. So ong is for the crown chakra, mm-hmm. right? Ong can even go to the Ajna chakra. Mm-hmm. When you chant ong, let's talk with the first two chakras here, and then I'll uh, let Zola talk, share what she'd like to share. The first two chakras stimulate the thymus, the pineal, and the pituitary gland. Those glands keep you sensual, keep you succulent, keep you youthful, right, hey, baby. keep yeah. you intuitive, yeah. open what we call in yoga the 10th gate to divine source. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can just start right there with Aum. Right. Just chant Aum. Aum. Let me hear you all say it for a minute. Ready? Aum. Drag it out, girl. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all should be in the room but if not we sending this out that's to everybody right. yeah. listening Hope to y'all reach that. so that's the first two highest that's the highest two chakras right? and i just want to um i just want to throw in your um affirmations because we were going to do that so yes. definitely the crown chakra is i understand and your your uh your third eye chakra is going to be i trust myself so those are you know those are for those two absolutely so then we come to the throat chakra the throat chakra is very important because so many people feel their voices are eclipsed Mm -hmm. right so many people feel that they cannot share the way that they need to share Mm -hmm. through abuse through, you know, um, subjugation, through being in fear. Mm -hmm. You know, they are in a state of, you know, really that voice of silence is suppressed. Thank you. That's an excellent word. I love that. So we want to open up that throat chakra, right? right? We want to open it up with young, 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 I know these guys yeah. in the next room. Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, like, I didn't know. Yeah. I already Open know. Open up that throat chakra. I like the word already. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. and the uh, the color, Chris, um, Zola, I was, we always want to call her Crystal. Crystal, right. Because she's heard, so right. Instagram is Crystal John. I am the Crystal now. She yeah. just beaming <laughs> right and Sean, you know, shining, you know. She the mother Crystal over there. All right, okay. That. Yeah, so Zola can share the, uh, the um, crystals that can help activate the different chakras. The color for the crown chakra is white. Okay. The color for the uh, Ajna chakra or the third eye is like a white and purple, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the color for the throat chakra is, um, is uh, light blue. Okay. That's the color for the throat chakra. 
I just want to say something. Whenever I've done any talk to people about the chakras, it's always that throat chakra. I mean, people are sometimes bored to tears when they realize how blocked yeah. that throat chakra is. Because mm -hmm. you recall so many situations where you couldn't speak your mm -hmm. truth, mm -hmm. when you couldn't say something that you wanted to say. Mm -hmm. And you know, and now we have it with these unhealthy ways of our throat chakra. We post a meme, right? right. We, don't, we don't say yeah. it, but we post yeah. it or something yeah. like that. Those are still not healthy ways. We, when you're operating the right way, all those chakras are unblocked and, and, and you could go and you could speak your truth and you could feel like hey I could say this and it's going to mean something to somebody my words right. are important my my words are powerful you know mm -hmm. I, I could speak my truth that's such a that's such a big thing even you know teaching yeah. children I always want even sometimes I'm going crazy about what they're trying to say but yeah. I don't want to block that throat chakra at a young age yeah. Yeah. they might be right. trying to tell me a story about T-Rex and it, I'm just like let me just yeah. let yeah. this child speak this because right. I don't want to be because a lot of times before they even uh, get to elementary level, chakras are blocked. Yeah. Some of them yeah. are born, you know, right away. Maybe just as a baby, you was abandoned. Shut up. Stop or, you know, crying. Certain, yeah. <laughs> I'm right. telling you, so some babies right. are even born, even yeah. before they're one, with uh, blockages, with root chakra. They don't feel safe. They don't feel I, secure. I they're always crying. Yeah. They don't know when their next meal is coming. These are all chakras that, um, you know, you might not, because you're not living by the chakras, to yeah. understand that you've just caused a child or, you know, or uh, someone who looks to, to, um, to have their chakras blocked. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you might you might be an artist and you paint. Your dad tell you you ain't gonna you know that's and you stop doing it. Yeah. He he blocked that creative chakra I've for you. I've done that. I've done experienced that. that so so many just times. um just real quick, I want to talk about the crystals for those chakras. And I'll just give one for each. Mm -hmm. Um, that crown chakra you want to work with clear quartz. Mm -hmm. Clear quartz. I used to carry clear quartz in my bag because I used to always be indecisive, mm -hmm. and I would just take it. I'll be at the solid bar like I don't know what dressing <laughs> I want. I don't know. Oh no, I'm next. Yeah. I'm next. I don't know my order you know so um just taking that crystal and you know and rubbing it and rubbing it you know even with headaches everything yeah. don't be indecisive make a choice and stand firm with it yeah. i want to since you mentioned headaches i want to make clear like a lot of times our body i'm not even gonna say a lot of times our body alerts us to what it needs okay right. and at the end of the day like we will get headaches okay that's your that's your third eye opening your crown mm -hmm. opening you get stomach aches that's your solar plexus or you know some other your heart chakra i had these crazy i was going through this personal thing in my life and and years ago and i had these crazy heart palpitations went to the damn cardiologist and everything couldn't find anything wrong mm, right healed right. my heart chakra Give that's right that they couldn't that's find right. so yeah so it, it's it's your body is telling you, hey, I was having this ascension flu and it was stupid because I felt sick to my stomach. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what it is, you know, right. <laughs> but your body always will tell you what it is that it needs. You just have to understand what it's telling you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So go ahead. I hate to say this, but we have five minutes left this okay flew so, by. <laughs> so i'm just gonna talk then about the heart chakra very okay. important because very the heart important. chakra especially for women mm -hmm. oh, if you goodness. took a survey it's the heart chakra for most women that is really out of balance which then imbalances everything else right. right and that heart chakra the mantra the word of power to open and balance that energy sometimes people need to close it a little bit that's but the right. mantra what you want to use is hung h a h a u n g hung hung one more time hung excellent yeah i needed to close mine a little bit yeah, yeah. so i <laughs> I did bring some uh, crystals for demonstrations, but I don't have to show that. Mm -hmm. But I did bring them. I know you said you brought some crystals. Yeah. And, but I don't know. Do we have the time? or We, we have a few minutes. If or, there's something that you really would like to, uh, you know, present. You have a crystal yeah, for the heart chakra? I do have a heart chakra crystal. I brought I got every I kind of fabulous all. crystal there <laughs> used to have. That is sure. crystal mama <laughs> right there. Mama crystal box. right there. Let's what do you think about a so, Labrador right so for, uh, for heart? I just got Labrador right. It's just just strong. Yeah, yeah. I, I have it right it's here on my finger. Yeah, oh man. It's it um, very good. magical. Yeah, you know? it is. I love so, that. Um, yeah, that's why I just got it. 
<laughs> and it's shaped like a heart, you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is this is um this is the rose quartz. Yeah. Rose quartz. So what I like to do is seriously, when you live in the chakras and you felt something impact that heart chakra at nighttime, I take my rose quartz and I put it here up against my heart and I release it into this crystal mm-hmm. because that's what it is. It transmutes that energy. So any hurt, mm-hmm. any you know any shame, if it was like I hurt it myself by doing something that wasn't in the name of self love, right. or you know I let somebody else hurt me right. in a way that um you know I have to bounce back. Yeah. So I'm releasing those things into my crystal i want to release those things so just every night not every night y'all like darn you breaking your heart every night <laughs> not no, every like, night honestly, <laughs> if you've been through a traumatic experience, yes, i want to pull yeah. that out yeah. i don't want to i don't want to hold on into that because you could feel that pain yeah you right. know you could feel that pain and sometimes we have to feel that because now we can know okay and that's why i tell you you can't just bounce back from all these things and you yeah. didn't try to do any healing on your chakras oh my you know God. you'd be like i'm okay yes. i'm good no you're not because it's going to come out in other ways it's going to yeah. show up yep. in other ways so this one is definitely uh, my favorite rose quartz for your heart yeah, chakra. Yeah, well, yeah, of course it's good. It's yeah. a good one. Absolutely. Yeah, there's um, just real quick. There's there's some crystals require cleansing because they do take on energy. Some are naturally, you know, meant to draw out that negative energy, and of course, some of them are naturally cleansing. Other ones you have to, you know, some Sage. like water, some oh, yeah. like other things. They Sage. like to be. Sage, buried, you know, um, there's different ways to go about that, and you'd have to, depending on what you have, you'd have to figure that out. But there's just, uh, it's been cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's been cool. Yeah. Um, is you. there anything that you guys, a final thought you would like to share? Um, I don't have m- much of a final thought. I brung you guys this. This is a piece of selenite, yeah. right? So you, I want you to put this right above the door frame. So when people are walking in, transmute and pulling those different energies out. Thank you know, you. so this is definitely great for cleansing. So I, I'm gifting you guys with this. Thank but um, you. no final thoughts other than just live your chakras. Like every day I journal a lot and I go back on my experience and I say, mm-hmm. what chakra was impacted yeah. by that? Mm-hmm. You know, so and then I that's can a, say, okay, that's let a me good work idea. on that let chakra. Me work on that yeah. right mm-hmm. what's been bugging me lately what's been yeah that's a journaling is a good way i didn't think yeah. of that um damn i hate when one it goes in and it goes out is because i'm i'm trying to <laughs> you're trying to take in yeah, and process exactly that's yeah. exactly what's happening um there was one thing that i did want to say and gosh darn it well i, I mean just anymore. like yeah. at, in the end loved ones you know yeah. uh with all that's going on we we got to we're being pulled in a lot of different mental ways, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But yeah. in the end, love wins. That heart chakra being the one that I'm sorry, I missed your name. Just call her Mama. Mama, mama okay. Mama the heart yoga. chakra that was the the <laughs> one that you dropped on us last was the most <laughs> important. That's what I was gonna you say. Know, yeah. yeah, I mean, if if we can remember that, you know, we just gotta unite with all these things that's going on. We being um, and it's a little off topic, but they're trying to pull us into a lot of um, negative energies. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, uh, rather be racial negative energies, hating the police yep. negative energies, a lot of different negative energies. And what we got to remember is the people that's doing this can't love. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're, mm-hmm. they're enabled to do it. So we have that power. And it is a love is a power. Mm-hmm. We have that power over the situation. And in mm-hmm. the end, love will reign supreme over everything that's happening right now yes and i remembered what i was gonna say a lot of folks if you're interested start with your root chakra right right. because you can't manifest and elevate if you don't start at the ground level you see what i'm saying absolutely so you have to start with your ground chakra you can't you know skip to a b c d you know all the extra if you don't do the the groundwork literally the groundwork right the groundwork ground yourself it will take help you with anxiety and depression and uh feeling lonely and all those things that we suffer from also last thought we are in a spiritual warfare which affects our minds which star was just talking about the things that they're throwing at us is a lot of negativity and that's why it's you know we're in that spiritual warfare because they're attacking our minds our spirit right, right. they're trying to dampen our spirit because right. the mind is a powerful place so if there's all us vibing high as we are and we're intelligent and all got different gifts all these star seeds out here and all Absolutely. this you know like Absolutely. it's just the, if we finally come together Come on now. Yeah. Listen. Come on now. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. You already it's, know. It's, it's power just with us. It's power yeah. with us just in this room alone. Absolutely. You know. That's right. So yeah, absolutely. We got we got the power to move mountains, and we will. Yeah. You know. Sure. We will. We will. 
I want to I want to thank uh, everybody for coming in today. I want to thanks Polly for sitting in. Polly baby, Polly baby. <laughs> so her show is on Wednesday night, so check that out. Polly yeah, in the sure game. Check out. Also, I want to thank Star Two G for coming through. Thanks for having me. Make sure y'all go watch that movie. The Red Two G Hustler yep. is on Amazon Prime. I rented it, girl. I've you been, got? I've you? been seeing it. Oh, I that's saw good. when it came thank out. So check much. it out on Amazon. You know. Also, uh, Zola, I want to thank you. And thank, thank you. you for bringing Mama. Yes. Yoga. Mama, <laughs> Mama Yoga. Mama Yoga. <laughs> Can't forget that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just tell them real quick where they can find you on Instagram, both of you. Yep. So you can find me on Instagram at Crystal John. Just Crystal John. Just I hope y'all spelled John the right way. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, yeah. if you're from, from Philly, Philly. Philly. Yeah. The right. Crystal if the right Philly, way. The right. Yeah, straight through, just like that. Thank mm-hmm. you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> and you can find me uh, on the gram as well at Mama Yoga Wellness. It's M A M A Yoga Wellness, all one uh, word. And I just want to send a prayer of healing and calm and yes. up- upliftment. Absolutely and empowerment and restitution over this beautiful our city of brotherly love Absolutely. and sisterly affection mm-hmm. that's right thank you guys thank you for coming in Thanks and for thank y'all us. for tuning in to the x radio this week you can check out the replay available on youtube just search glock aware and uh next week we're talking about mindful manifestation with motive um, mindset motivational coach danny felt uh i will be yeah. here for so, that so yeah make by sure the you, way make sure you tune into that um and until next week Took if you could play a uh, Star Trek on the way out, that'd be dope. Hey. <laughs> this is me.